What's up, Friday Night Funkiners? We are here with Marco Antonio, the creator of Mario's Madness. How you doing, Marco? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> Can you let us know a bit about yourself and how this crazy mod all started? Yeah, I specialize in doing 3D and 2D stuff. Originally, I was in a group call. We were talking about other creepypasta mods, and I said, why there isn't a mod about I hate you? Like, I hate you was the, the original creepypasta that started the mod. How do you and your team choose characters for Mario's Madness? Some team members said, oh, you know, you should add this one. And others said, no, describe this one. Do you guys like have a poll or get in like a call and bounce ideas off each other? Yeah, kind of like that. So you're credited as the creator and artist for the mod. Did you actually make all the art for the mod? I did all of the art for the mod. Characters, the sprites, the background, the cutscenes. Oh my gosh, that, that's just like mind blowing. How do you create these characters, you know, from their origins and converting them into your own style and Friday Night Funk in itself? I got reference pictures of the character and stuff, and then I make poses and then pass it to animate. Which character was the hardest to draw or animate? MX was the hardest. I really wanted the guy to look as scary as, as the one from the game. Like. And also the, the overalls are mixed from his original appearance. <laughs> yeah. But you guys decided to keep it because it, it looks like cool, basically. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Getting into the development itself, what did you and your team find most difficult to implement? The, the the apparition boyfriend sprite like Bruh. it's made out of three spray sheets it was very hard to implement that in game and the hallway was very difficult to make too yeah because that does loop around a lot of people were also wondering was there any cut content or beta info that didn't actually make it into the mod yeah actually we planned to add more characters to be one but most of them ended up getting to be two like we originally planned to add coronation day peach a six Secret History is Mario, and Ink Bowser was the last one. We had to cut them because of time constraints, but two of them will be back in B2. Were there any like cut mechanics? Mm, yeah, originally there was a space mechanic where like Mario the Dixie would throw his knife at you and you would have to dodge it. Kind of like the MX one, but more hard. The MX mechanic was originally going to be totally different. Like, originally, MX was going to throw you the toad that he kills in the game. He would throw it at you and you would have to dodge it. Cool. Will there be cutscenes to the bonus songs in the next update? Mm. Yeah, I think there will be. And uh, did you make the opening cutscene all yourself? Yeah, I did. It took me like three weeks to make it. So you're the one who put the Among Us in there then? <laughs> yeah. yeah <I> did. <laughs> well, now we know the most important question of the mod. <laughs> so what do you personally think of other Friday Night Funkin' horror mods, whether they be Mario related or not? I do like some of the, the Mario mods. The Mario FNF port one is really good. I really like the songs. The Mario Mix mod is also really Really good. Did you like receive any inspiration from Sonic EXE or other horror mods? Yeah, most of the, the B1 stuff was inspired like EXE or Hypnos Lullaby. I want to make it separate from other EXE mods, like make it its own unique thing. The most thing that inspired EXE was the, the artwork for the free play. <laughs> that kind of was inspired for my mod. And Bonnie Gamer, they're wondering if there will be any collabs with other mods out there. I think the Mistful Crimson Morning, we were planning to do a collab. The first thing that came to my mind was like doing a Doomsday cover with Beta Luigi. I don't know if, if that will come true, but I would like it. And we have the, the collab with Secret Histories. So, um, oh, now, oh, I'm excited for this one, man. <laughs> we, we're going into GB yeah. now. So, GB is an exclusive character created by you, Marco, and he has abilities such as corrupting code, and he could transfer through different Mario games. Uh, you mentioned in a tweet that this plays a role in his upcoming phase. Yeah. Can you let us know a bit more about your ominous creation to get us excited for his next appearance? Well, the last song for GB, it's going to be so Baba Bowie like man I, funny thing it's going to be the canon ending for the mod i can only compare it to triple trouble it's going to be really really cool that's exciting dude <laughs> so infamously he was created while you were you were quote shaba boy uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you were on the toilet <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I do. Why did you want to make GB? I went to the bathroom and I, I took my phone. I was watching uh, Super Mario Land 2, like, review and stuff. And I said, damn, I really enjoy this game. What if I make a, a Mario XE based on this game? And, you know, <laughs> I got out of the bathroom and I drew the first GB concept and showed it to the team. This was also a question that a lot of people were wondering. Racist Mario? <laughs> How did the <laughs> team decide on racist Mario? It's actually a kind of funny story. Like, we were in the development server and Team Fox, the, the main voice actor for the month, was like, yo, you know what character we should add? And he posted the, the racist Mario YouTube link. And then, like, all the team said, <laughs> jokes aside, this is actually a really cool idea. And then it got added into the mod. And the song, in my opinion, is the best one from the one. And really? seeing the reaction of people, like, going to the free play and saying, oh, I wonder what's this for? <laughs> and then they see racist Mario and what the f*** is this <laughs> really <right>? funny <laughs> So, for Mario's Madness V2, do you have any exclusive teasers that you can share to get us excited for the next update? This is part of the Power Down remaster. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, bro! I can show the piece of my favorite song from V2. Oh wow, <laughs> that, that goes hard at the end, man. Uh, it's my favorite one from B2 so far. So you're like a very talented artist, director, as Marco Antonio. Where do you see yourself in one to five years from now? I'm working on, uh, on an original game with a friend. I don't think it's going to come out for a long time, but I really enjoy making games and I think that will be my, my career in the future. So obviously, like, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on, Marco. Uh, it's been an honor. I do hope people enjoy it too. And I hope people enjoy playing it and making videos and stuff. Yeah. Let us and Marco know what your favorite Mario's Madness character or song is. And I have more schmackin' FNF interviews right here. Thanks so much for watching.